Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the User of Bricks channel. Today I am uh, giving you an a follow-up video to my mobs tutorial for mCreator. But this time it's a tutorial in Blockbench. Now if you don't know what Blockbench is, Blockbench is a modeling program for Minecraft. Uh, you can create blocks uh, and uh, mobs. Those are the biggest priority. Now through this tutorial I will be showing you prominently the features that mCreator can use. Uh, meaning the exporting models bit, but there are some other features that if you're just generally modding, uh, you can use them uh, to do things like animations and whatnot, for mobs anyway. Anyway, first things off, to download M M create, uh, not mCreator, uh, Blockbench, you will want to go to blockbench.net and this will take you to Blockbench's main website and you can either use it through the online editor or you can scroll down a bit and click on the download button for whatever version of a computer that you are using. Okay, now once you have downloaded Blockbench, uh, you will end up and have opened it. Uh, not not that Blockbench, the uh, bench with the blue circle around it. Uh, you will want to specifically for mobs. You will want to go up to File and New new entity model. Now you want uh, the file name and I am going to be recreating a mob from the previous uh, video in Blockbench. Now the mob that I showed you in that video was created through a Minecraft mod that allows you to create mobs but in my opinion that it is a lot more restrictive compared to this. Anyway, uh, file name Watcher T C H E R or whatever name you are going for. Now you will also want to create a mob geometry name. Uh, Blockbench automatically creates one of these for you if you type in the file name. This allows it so that you can uh, use this mob in mCreator for spawning in custom biomes or dimensions or things like that. Uh, you can also change the texture size but you don't have to worry about this as you can change it later. And next you want to click confirm, not to block model, because that'll change it into a block model instead of an entity model or a mob. Uh, click confirm, and you will have this right in front of you. So yeah, it's very similar to other 3D model modeling programs, but yeah. Anyway, to start adding stuff to the actual uh, uh, model, you want to add a group. Now, these are considered bones. Uh, think of them a bone as in like your forearm, uh, your finger, uh, your hand, uh, your entire arm. It's like a folder system. Now, if you're wanting a uh, human model, 
uh, to, to set that up, you will want to have bones. And if you're creating it from scratch, you want a head bone, a right leg, a left, left leg, a right arm, a left, not laughed, left arm, and you also want the body. Now, if you were going to do like a dog, I would still put it, this, it in this format. Uh, right leg, left leg, right arm, left arm, body, and head. Just because mCreator creates uh, its animations using those names. So if you specifically, if you have all of these named, you, it'll be really easy click and animate, and mCreator can animate it. Anyway, uh, once you have these for a biped or uh, which would be a human or your general alien, I guess, uh, or a dog or say I a dinosaur that has no more than four limbs. Limbs include arms and legs. Uh, you generally want to put the arms inside of body as well as the head as rotations often time uh, when you want to do them and you like rotate the body you have to manu manually then, then move the left arm right arm and head if they are not under the body bone now if you're doing like a dog I'd still do the same thing just make the origin for body way in between the two back legs. Anyway, I am not doing that for this uh, entity. I really, I have a head. In a body. And as before, I put the head in the body. From here, uh, you can add cubes, and you have a plethora of options to do stuff with this. It, gener it normally starts you out with uh, the moving uh, uh, arrows. Uh, but you can also come up here, and there's different uh, uh, tools. Uh, move is what it naturally comes on. You can resize. So that resizes it based off of the three different axis, axes. Or you can come up here and, and resize it up here. Um, yeah. I mean, you can inf you can inflate it, but you uh, don't tend to need this too often. Uh, and with any of these tools, you can hit Shift, and it will uh, either move or extend uh, by a quarter of a pixel. If you couldn't tell already, each of these squares is a normal Minecraft pixel, which is a 16 by 16. So I already showed you the resize. You can also rotate your model. And you will want to uh, click on a, the bone that your all of the different block cubes are on uh, to do that. And it'll rotate 
based off of the origin. And you can change where the origin is. Say I wanted it to be 111. Let's put this back to zero. And you could, and it will then uh, rotate based off of that origin. Anyway, and if you want to undo anything, it's in Edit, Undo, but you have to click Undo for each and every thing you have done. Anyway, there's also a pivot tool. This uh, is the arrow uh, movement, but it does it for the origin. The vertex snap. This doesn't really do much from what I'm aware. Yeah, it's a really odd tool. So let's move it back to the center, center it. Make sure the pivot is in the center of this cube. Anyway, so to go on from here, uh, you have the, also these arrow keys that you can use to, to, to move. But there are also some other things you can do. You can customize toolbars. Any of these toolbars that have the three arrows you can customize. And there is a plethora of different tools that you can uh, add to that. I wouldn't suggest going crazy as a lot of them just take up space and you don't need them all. Anyway, you can take screenshots of your model, of the app, or you can record a GIF any way that you really want. Uh, there's also plugins. Uh, the plugins I have are our bedrock entity generator generate shape, but the most of these plugins are actually for the block models. There are only a few that aren't. So let's show you the plugins. There's the uh, bedrock entity generator, plaster, and it's a bunch. These are the ones I have installed. There's also the available ones which is quite a lot uh, of different, different uh, things. I don't really know what all of them do. I just have found the ones that I use the most, and I go from there. Anyway, back to the... Uh, uh, model. Let me quickly uh, generate a uh, entity. Let's do the horse. Wow, this is odd how it spawned anyway. I am just going to redo that. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to go with the humanoid model. Uh, don't worry about the, it saying bedrock entity generator, uh, as Blockbench also works for the bedrock edition but here today we'll be using it for the uh, Java edition. If you generate something, it'll 
give you all of the different uh, things. Off, oftentimes it generates a bone for each and every single uh, every single uh, cube. As you can see, the head cube is na named head, and it's in the head group. The body is named body. The left arm is named left arm, and so on and so forth. But yeah, there beyond this, there is the paint section, which you can uh, you will need to either import or create a texture. Let me create one real quick. Name it stuff. And confirm. And it, if you do the, uh, the uh, generate template, it'll give you these uh, different sides so that if you export this to another uh, painting program like GIMP or uh, uh, Photoshop or there are a plethora out there but you can uh, n easily tell what is what by doing that. You can also paint within this program uh, but it, uh, it, it's rather rudimentary and works on a pixel by pixel basis. Uh, I'd very much recommend exporting this to say GIMP or something of that sort and then doing that. And if you keep it all in the same file that the this texture is loading every time you edit the texture file it'll automatically be uh, visible with that texture in blockbench which is very handy very handy so let's quickly give this guy a derpy smile and uh, yeah we can export this and go to gimp i am not showing you that today uh, as this is purely modeling uh, and basic overview. So there's also the animate section. Now this isn't fully available for M Creator, but if you are creating uh, your own mod, like coding it from scratch and whatnot, you can use it or if you want to code through M Creator, I'm sure there's a way you could use this, but you uh, create an animation, uh, you add, you select something, add a rotation, move along, add a rotation, change the rotation, go back, play the animation, and you can see it, it moves. It's on repeat at the moment, but it does do what it, you said, told it to. So, yeah, this will also teach you very handy uh, things about keyframes. Keyframes are used in a plethora of different things, such as uh, Premiere Pro, it uses keyframes for different effects and whatnot. But anyway, back to this. To export an animation, uh, I believe, no. You go up to Animation and Export Animations. You can also import animations. I don't exactly, I haven't done this before, so I don't know if it's buggy or not. I would assume that if everything's labeled the same exact way, you can import it to different models to use it for or view it on different models. 
uh, yeah. And that's the general gist for this. To actually export your model, uh, you can go to File and Export. There's different uh, things you can export. And now in mCreator, you can export uh, OBJ models. I would not suggest this for uh, entities as you can't do it for entities, though you can use it for blocks. So if you want to create a more detailed in rotation uh, block, do it in the entity uh, editor and then export an OBJ model. You can also export Optifine Gems or Bedrock Entities. You can also export Java Entities. And you can name it. And yeah, you can go from there. You can select the folder you want it to go into. And then you'll have to go into mCreator. Go to the Resources tab, Models, and import a Java model and find where you save this model and import it and go from there by creating the model uh, elements and whatnot. So this is the first uh, video in this series in this very short series about Blockbench. In the next episode for this, we will be going over uh, blocks, and yeah, I hope you and uh, stay tuned for that. Like this video if you did like it. Subscribe to be notified when the next video comes out for the M Creator series or this series.